Warning, this podcast, website, and associated social media accounts are intended for audiences of legal drinking age. We do not advocate overconsumption or the abuse of alcohol. Never drink and drive, drink responsibly. And please remember to always take what we say with a grain of salt. After all, we are just some dudes with some brews. We started out by crawling out from under the thumb of the man. The lovers of God with dad bods just trying to be a fam. Go sit right there and grab a bear. You know just what to do. Throw it back, get hammered, and listen to dudes and bruise. <laughs> <laughs> It's how excited this dude gets for his bro Gucci Mane. Dude, he was so popular when we were coming up, when I was coming up anyway. I mean, <sighs> cash money taking over for the 9-9 in like, the 2000s. I remember this. So, Lil Wayne. Okay. He put out, when he put out the Carter Three. Oh, I know. Okay, I was working at Best Buy. You know how hard that album was to keep in stock? You told me people would come in multiple times throughout the day looking for Carter Three. Yeah. It's Carter 3. Dude, the Carter 3 came out in 2008. Wow. And yeah, in 2008, dude, it was busy. Like, we couldn't keep them in stock. I can imagine. Tuesdays was music was release. Like you should have seen people come in on Tuesdays oh, to right. come in there and pick up CDs. Yeah. We couldn't keep that album in stock, I dog. Can, man. And I was like, Lil Wayne, really? I tried to listen to it, and I always, because I had seen him. Could you get behind it? Well, so I I like this. This album's okay. Okay. Uh, a Millie, terrible song. Yeah. But it's got... Such a good baseline that if you've got a system in your car, it sounds good. I feel like every time we're hanging out, Larry's putting chame- chameleon on. Or no, ca- uh, ca- uh, it's it's the song chamele, that goes chamele. a milli, a milli, a milli, a milli, yeah. milli, milli, a milli. I feel like milli. every time we're hanging out, Larry's putting that song on. I mean, it hits it hits good in the car. It it does. It hits it, does. it hits hard in the car. But <laughs> I'm not a. Uh, I like my fav my favorite song is the one that he did Mr. Carter with uh, Jay Z. Okay. But that's because I'm a big fan of Jay Z. Yeah. That one I do like. And really, really good lyrics. Jay Z's line where he goes, uh, Young Carter, go harder, go further, go farther. Mm. If not, then if not while we came, then if not, then why bother? See, that's what I was going to say. It's memorable. Yeah. The the lyrics hit, and he's he's given it over to. It's the whole package. um, He's given the. He's like, he's given the whole rap game over to. Lil Wayne mm. is what he's doing, like handing it over. Yeah, because he because like, he, he says uh, he says uh, I'm passing the torch. Hold on, he says uh, he, he here it is. I'm right here in my chair with my crown and my dear wow. queen bee as I share mic time with my heir. Okay, young Carter, go further, go farther, go harder. If not, while we came, then if not, then why bother? Man, show no mercy in Marcia Lagos. Hmm. It's right there. It's the clear. Year. Yeah. Very clear. He was so passing he's like, the torch, he's passionate. bro. He's like, dude, I'm the king. Yep. I sit here with... Which, Can you dub yourself the king? Like the king of rap? I mean... It said he was number one. I mean, on the, what was it, on the charts? So this is the thing, is that I don't know that you that you can. Yeah, can you dub yourself? It's, it's like hard, the right? Yeah. Um. Kind of like Car- Conor McGregor does in UFC. I'm the GOAT. May- maybe... Um, it's so like, it's like, it's, it's really hard to say I'm the greatest, but it's hard to deny it as well. Yeah. If you, yeah. I mean, and I'm going to show deny. you a song. Okay. Um, I think it's a reminder. I don't know if there's stats out there that, you know, you, you can point to. There are though. Um, probably. Hold on. Oh, right, right here. He, he says this, he says right here, it says, what the hell have y'all done to even have an opinion on what I've been doing? <laughs> What the hell have y'all won? Only thing you can identify is losing. Hmm. Ten number one albums in a row. Who better than me? Only the Beatles. Nobody ahead of me. I crushed Elvis and Blue Suede shoes. Wow. Made the Rolling Stones seem like Kool-Aid as Kool-Aid too. too. 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001 and beyond. 02, 03, 04, 05, 06 and 7, 08, 09. Back to back, Dang. double plat. Wow. I did. I did what you won't. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Oh, there. I mean, you got to say, he's obviously drawn from somewhere. And I got to say, those are much better lyrics than what we have these days. Like, bro, like this? That, that's fire. This right here, ain't nothing changed except the year it is. Wow. Yeah, I mean. I think I have to send you a reminder. <laughs> 
Go ahead, send that reminder. Like I'm telling you, like this is why I like Jay Z. Yes, he's cocky. Yeah. But it's like these lyrics are fire, dog. Man. Ain't nobody done it except for like, me and the Beatles. I'm telling you, I feel like I've missed all that. <laughs> like I, I've missed those lyrics. <laughs> well, because I mean, his big songs were like "Big Pimpin'." Yeah, I know. Which you, honestly, you, and who, oh, that was the on the track with Pimp C and uh, UGK. I think so. Yeah. Yes, man, Houston boys. Yes. See, I'm the, I'm I not was a huge fan. I'm not like really big into a lot of rap. I just right. like Jay Z to be I, honest. Yeah, uh, that's fair. There's a there's I mean, a if, line in this song too. But go, go if, ahead. If you find like a, like you said a good artist that you that you like you follow and he kind of pulls you into that genre. Hey, more power, you know. Right. Pull you into the to the rap scene. Um, I may have to find it. Oh, it says right here. This is. Um, maybe it's not this song, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's I think he's fair. a great lyricist, so that's why I enjoy his m- music. It's weird that I pulled out two lyrics just just like that. Like yeah. I already knew what songs they were on. Yeah, <clears throat> what year was he dubbed number one? What, what year was that clip from uh, that Lil Wayne was on? Oh, I'm not even sure. Okay, like that's an old <clears throat> clip that he was on the. Uh, he just did a we- a weird interview. Um, because if you th- if you think about it too, so. That album was released in 2009, and if you think about it, you don't really see him out like putting anything out anymore. So he, it sounds like to me, he did pass the torch. Jay Z. Yeah, Jay Z. This is the thing. Jay Z still puts out a lot of stuff. Is he that putting, we still just putting stuff out? Don't know. Oh. So like, okay. hold on. So like, we know. Hold on, let me pull up his discography here, and I'll tell you. Yeah, what you got? On so that? like, certain uh, albums like. Okay, there's 97. Um, so, like, this one right here, Hard Knock Life, was a big album. Oh, I do remember that. came that. out in 98. Gosh, it seems like so long ago. Um, this one was good, Life and Times of Sean Carter in 99. Mm. Then he put out The Blueprint in okay. 2001. The Black Album, phenomenal in 2003. That was a good one. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of like The Black Album the best out of all of his other albums. Mm. Um, it says Encore, 99 Problems, Public Service Announcement. Okay. Um, to... Dirt or d- dirt Off Your Shoulders. So it's got a lot uh, of his big stuff. Kick that dirt off your shoulders. I yeah. Said, kick that. <laughs> yeah. I but he did these. Th- this one right here, this, four, this, four, four, this 444. Okay. I wonder what that stands for. It's apparently huge. Really? Apparently it was a huge album. That was in 17. I didn't listen to it. Yeah, I mean, he hadn't put out anything since 2017, okay. but I'm just saying, even from 2000, like 2007, when he put out American Gangster or the Blueprint Three, when he did that song with uh, Rihanna, in New York. Oh, I do. I'm familiar with that song. Yeah, New York. Yeah, what is yeah. it? Uh, now we're down in Shy Town. Now, or oh yes. Uh, gosh dang it, I don't uh, know all the the lyrics to it because I'm like, like her part it's, stands out it's, to um, me. Run this town. Yes, yeah. gonna run this town tonight. <laughs> yep. You are here we rock nation. That was decent. Yeah. That was decent. Like, like like this album was was pretty good. It had Insire, Empire State State of Mind with Alicia Keys. Okay, he had a nice some nice uh, features on it. But yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of Jay Z. Man, as, as you can tell, I can tell definitely. <laughs> but um, before we really get too far into yeah, it, yeah, let's crack open this beer. Joe, what do we um, got on this? Community, community does good beers. Oh, this is a community. So okay. Uh, I've seen this around. I always thought it was kind of gimmicky. It's called Medical Grade Haze. It's yep. a hazy IPA. Which I like a hazy IPA, but it's called the Medical Grade Haze, which I thought like they're playing on like weed. Yeah, that's what weed. I'm thinking. Uh, so I thought it was kind of gimmicky, mm-hmm. but I do see a lot of similarities in hops and weed when it comes to like smells, for sure. Right, yeah. And descriptors. Dank yeah. is one that you get for both. Okay. So I'm not mad at it. You know I like a hazy, you know, and I'm a hop daddy, so... The resident hop daddy. The resident hop say. daddy. I, I guess I dubbed myself. Or, I think you guys have dubbed me that. No, nah, we dubbed you that, dog. Yeah. All right. So it's not so, as hazy and light as I was expecting, but that's okay. I'm, I like the color. Like the color's that? phenomenal. Let's see. Color's really pretty. Yeah, it is. Got some Cody see, floaties in yeah, it? Yeah, I'm seeing some Cody floaties in there. That's all right. Yep. So it says here, got the hop fever. Yes. This hazy IPA keeps the bitterness low and juice factor super high. Okay. Thanks to the dankness, the dankest mm. cryo hop varieties. Sabro, Talus, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Okay. 
overflowing with heady tropical flavors and aromas making for the perfect haze sesh. Nice. It's just what the doctor ordered. I like I like community. And you know I love a good hazy. Yeah, because they do the mosaic. That's it. That's the one. And this one's coming in at a seven point seven yeah. ABV. That's a that's a that's solid. So very so I don't want to bury the lead here, Joe. Go ahead. The, the the first sentence was like got the hop fever. Right? Got the hop fever? The question hop- mark? Question mark. That's it. So it's like I got I got a fever and only one prescription. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, cowbell? I need more cowbell. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> more cowbell. <laughs> I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. That's the one. Well, here. I'm digging it. The only prescription is more hazy. More hazy. More hazy, juicy hot. More juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a taste, taste test here. Let's see. How's it, it smell? smells phenomenal. Oh, that smells good. It smells like f- real fruit forward. Kind of hoppy. It sure is fruit forward. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is. Dude, is this that what is, you were expecting? It tastes like orange juice. It really does. Were you expecting that much like fruit forward citrus? Not really that much. Yeah. I, I it really of, tastes like orange juice, and I don't taste 7.7%, <laughs> 7%, I don't. which is not good because... I think it's what an easy I, way for me to get hammered. Yeah, I agree, <laughs> and I think what's going on it's it's coming in at forty IBU, so it's on the lower scale yeah. of bitterness. So that that's, I mean, you're getting forty's a not is not really not. I thought too, that was too low. Forty's pretty good. I thought that was on the lower. I wonder board, what mosaic has of the look. chart. Well, the thing is, is that I'm getting ready to brew my own hazy, and I'm putting together a recipe. Okay, and the style guidelines say. I think 25 to 50 or something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's, so it's there's, right there's there. a decent range. Yeah. And this one's like right in the middle, which is good. Mm-hmm. I would agree. Um, I wonder what this one is, though. Uh, the Mosaic IPA. Let's see if I can yeah, find it here. So that one's coming in. The Mosaic Promise. Coming in oh, at 85. The 85. So it is half that. So, okay. yeah. Okay. I get, I get that. Okay. Was, that's what I was thinking. So maybe 40s. Maybe when like, you said 40s, you thought I was on the lower end. It's a lower in comparison to the other IPAs that you I have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> when I think IPA, I think kind of hoppy, you know, grass fed, as Larry calls it. Yeah. Those, gra- know, those grass fed beers. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I, I, honestly, I can get behind it. You got, you guys know, you know, I'm a fan of hazy, hazy, um, but I really like the fruit forward beers, dude. This one's fire. I really actually, do. I'm like really liking this one right I, now. I do, definitely. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really about this one. So, uh, scale of one to five, what do what do you got? Oh, man, I'm giving this one a four and a half, dude. I'm I'm right there with you. Let's do it. Yep, I'll do a four I, and a half as well. These, to your point, are dangerous because I I could uh, these are the drinkability behind these are phenomenal. Right. I could I could grab a few of these and not even realize. Until it until the seven until way too caught late, a, yeah, caught up, yeah, with me, you know. So, what do you think about the uh, the design, the well, medical grade haze? Honestly, I mean, I, I kind of I can I can see the appeal behind it. Oh, you for know, sure, I can definitely see the appeal behind I it. I can see people going like, "Whoa, oh, that's super cool." I, I wonder if it's made with weed, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. I'm like, okay, well, uh, is this are we, are we th- talking dispensary here? Or are we talking right. you know grass grass fed beer? I don't know. Does it have CBD? You've got to try it. it. Yeah, has it got CBD in it? Um, gosh, I don't know. I mean, I I, I like what they did here. Oh, nice. This okay. is not for medical use. This is satire and should be and should not be taken seriously. Full disclaimer. Yeah. Cover well, yourself. Well, at least they put that on there. Let's see. Don't be dumb. Please and and here's some like look at the kind of the side effects, almost like a you know side of a yeah. prescription can, may may cause a, a good time to ensue. Nice, that's funny. Perfect for sharing with friends. I agree with that. <laughs> Do your part and recycle. Don't be dumb. Drink responsible. Don't be dumb. That's it. Okay, well, I like what community did with this one. I mean, the beer's phenomenal. Yeah, it so really is. So I can't is. complain. I could care less what the can looks like if the beer's this good, yeah, man. I could care less either. Yeah. 
Although, you know how I kind of rate, I rate things with, you know, um, you know, combinability, right? I look at aesthetics, the can, I, I, the, the smell, the taste, the, how, how does it make me feel? How's it, yeah. how am I vibing on it? And I'm kind of loving it. It makes me feel great. It makes right me now, feel man. great. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, the kind of the, the weather's warming up, you know, t- time change is about to occur. So or is it the longer days, it's kind of a longer haze. Right. Come on, talk to me. Dude. The, uh, the, bro, bro, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers bro. to all that. Longer yeah. days. And, and more haze. More haze. That's it, dude. So. So, uh, speaking of longer days and mm. the weather change. Yes, sir. Um, baseball season yes. is upon us. It is upon us. It is upon so, us. And I, uh, I know full well. I, because all you the kids play <laughs> yes sir they the do kids play baseball so you're and, like you're elbows deep and i'm gonna be a total dad at the moment my my oldest is his first year in high school ball what's up and what's up i mean and and he's he's, pe- he's pitching right he, yes yes yeah, he, he pitched three innings last week Sweet. and i mean he's he's playing with varsity yeah i mean so they've got him they had him on killing second, it killing it i'm loving it yeah proud dad moment you know nice and then, nice so yeah this is uh, my son's first first year to play man he's going to a baseball camp during spring break okay so has he gotten that. any practices under his belt at the one. moment okay all right one practice the weather's been kind of oh, shitty so we have the fields haven't been available yeah i mean you um, can't play unless you're on turf basically right. this week. so they're gonna try to figure some other stuff out but uh yeah he's had one practice and it went well i guess i mean they were filling out the kids good but he's gonna be in a in a camp all all week next week. I think that camp's going to be really great. So for I him. think it'll help him out a lot. Yeah, because I mean he's he's coming in. He's going to have to learn fundamentals. You know, he's going right. to learn the rules and the you know, just kind of the, the the flow of the game. Right. You know. So, with baseball, I got a question for you. Okay. So you go to a baseball game. Yes, sir. Okay. You're in the outfield, like you're in the stands, like yep. the home run territory. Okay. Okay. So kind of between like third and like home. Yep. Like even even or, back or, back oh, back center. Stop. Like back center. you're you're there because you're wanting to catch home run balls. Yes. Okay. I'm here. They hit a dinger out your way. You you catch it. Yes, sir. Now it's a special home run, meaning like uh, let's say it's Aaron Judge hits his sixty second home run and you catch it. You know I'm going for the ball. Are you keeping that ball, or are you giving it back to Aaron Judge? Dude, that ball's going home with me. Really? I'm keeping the ball. There's no doubt. And there's so no way if I'm the player comes back. and says, "Hey, I'll mm-hmm. give you another ball and I'll sign it. I'll give you a jersey and I'll sign it for trading for for that home run ball," because that, that's what a lot of guys do. Okay, I, I I'd probably have to keep the home run ball just because it's like that. I caught that ball, right? I mean, that's something that I can say, dude. This is a home run ball, and it's I'm keeping it. And it's a special home it's run ball. It's not home just a home run ball. Yeah, it's, it's like a record breaking ball it's or record, something. Yes, but don't you think it would mean something to the guy that hit it as well? It could. I, I'm not. I'm not giving him a mulligan on it, though, man. I'm. I'm taking it. It's I'm, okay. Because you know. some people would say that's a dick move. <laughs> oh, some people would. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I'm like, you're break your record again. Like whatever. Oh man. So it was okay. I see. Like what you're if, saying. It's yeah, if it's a record breaking home, home run, run. Yeah. Like you beat everybody's record for the most home mm. runs in a season. Do you give that back to them? If it's like I mean, if you hit a if they hit a grand slam in the World Series and they win the World Series, do you give that back to them, dude? Like if it's a special home, you know, if it's, if it's a special, a special home, run. home run, if yeah, record breaking home run hit, like I'm giving the ball back to him. Okay, he's the one that that I mean, it's obviously he's the one that achieved that, right? You know, hey, get, here's the ball, here's your record breaking ball. Get, throw me another one that's signed, right? You know what I mean? I, I'm giving the ball back if okay. it's like record. breaking I was gonna say if it's if it's I, I special, didn't really, yeah, if it's special, I didn't really get the whole context. But yeah, yeah. Now no, I no, it's it's got to be special. Like, like I said, if it's Game Seven in the World Series, hundred, and they win this and it's walk off home run, yeah, like. Yeah, you come find me. I'll come give that ball me. back to you. One hundred percent. No, I mean I wouldn't want something in exchange. <laughs> yes, a jersey, signed jersey, signed ball, something. Sign me some money. Like yeah. give me, give me some, give, give T- me some money. I to the next game. Tickets or you know to to a game. Give me tickets. Like games give me, are give, so give me fun. Box seats. Yes, especially on in our new stadium in <sighs> Dallas. Man, games are so fun. I know. I know you're old school. No, no. You're a traditional guy. What do you mean by that? Well, you're. I mean, I'm. I'm thinking. So you grew up on on Globe Life, or you know, Globe Life Park. Uh-huh. Ballpark now, in Arlington. Ball, yeah. yeah, the ballpark in Arlington. Now we're in a new. What is it? Met Life. I think so. In, now we're in Met Life, and I, I just don't see it having that same kind of the outdoor the field that you grew up on. 
It's I the outdoor it? field. I know. Dog. I knew it. I knew it. So like I've been to a game at the new stadium. The new stadium's great. It is. And when it's Have 110 degrees, it's like awesome. you want the AC. You want it. It's amazing. But you want to like this, like this is the thing. This is what's really weird is because I think I think it's turf fields. I believe you're right. Like yeah. when you're outdoors and you feel the heat of the sun, even if it's not 110, even if it's like 80 degrees, mm-hmm. you feel a little bit of the heat of the sun that warms you up a little bit. You smell the dirt and the <sighs> grass. You smell the fresh cut grass. Yes. Like there's a different <laughs> kind of atmosphere. You're putting me in the moment right now. <laughs> like, there's a different kind I of atmosphere that you have yes. versus recirculated air. And like, I, I agree. And there are other aspects, too, with the new stadium that you can't get with the old one. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I'm not saying the new stadium isn't needed in Texas. It definitely is. Right. Because you need Especially to have mid-summer. the – Yeah, you need the AC. But, like, yeah. no joke, we went in the middle of the summer, and, like, the kids brought hoodies. Really? Because yeah, they, they keep got it cold like inside. A, a, a 75, a smooth 75 the whole I th- time. I think it was even colder than that. It may have I been. I think it was, like, 70 the whole time to try to keep the, the, the players cool. Yeah. And I'm like – that's crazy Great, to me. but like, like my kids were getting cold. It's a good thing you guys brought jackets, and which is weird in the middle of the summer. It's really weird, but and, and I would agree to to an extent. Like little league, you're outside. Your rain shine, rain snow or shine. You're outside playing, so I get that, especially in little league. The I, outdoor atmosphere, outdoor atmosphere, the grass, grass, grass fed. Yeah, that grass, grass bed. Bed. <laughs> those cleats. Yeah, dude, I get it. I, I can appreciate where you're coming from. And yes, to answer your question, if it's a record breaking ball, I'm definitely giving it back to him. Yeah, you know, but I, I'm going to expect. I'm not giving it back for free. That's right. It's I'm going to need some monetary attached. value. Yeah, <laughs> strings attached. Yes, sir. All right, man. So we're going to play <clears throat> another game. You haven't played this before. Okay. Uh, we played this recently, though. It's a, it's a newer game. Um, it's called Things We Didn't Need. N- Things we didn't know we needed. I love it. I'm going to show you something that you didn't know that you needed (laughs) that I want to get your reaction on. All right. Fair enough. So speaking of great weather. Yes. You might need to go pick yourself up the Wonder Boner. The Wonder Boner. Let's see what you got on this. (laughs) What is. you set this up. The Wonder Boner. Okay. I'm, I'm so confused. All right. Um. Okay, I'm digging the atmosphere so far. You're out there fishing couple with your of fellas. Buddies, yeah, a couple of buddies out fishing. Who wants to clean and debone them? I'll do it. Fuck you. You want to do it? Just wait and you see All right. It's got some... It's, it's the Wonder <laughs> Boner. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even keep a straight face. You laugh now. Just watch. You just assemble the Wonder Boner's hands to you around. Okay. Fair enough. Fish by the top of the spine. I didn't know I needed this. And you deboned your fish. I, but I do need that. My wife would like. My wife would like. Odd statement. My wife would like the the wonder wonder boner. boner. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like that's not something you just like share with your buddies. I don't know. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I had no idea that I needed this, but I need it. (laughs) I need the wonder boner. I will admit. So, uh, wow. good or bad product name? Uh, terrible product name. Really? Yeah. I think the product name helps. Do you? It's like the medical I, grade haze. Th- this is true. Because I, of the product name being so, uh, like, it can be, it, it's, a, it's a dirty name is what it is. <laughs> it is. I can't think That's of a good why alternative either. hearing him say, it's, my wife would love this. It's the Wonder Boner. <laughs> <laughs> no, but his is going, my wife would love this. Yeah, she would like a Wonder Boner, wouldn't she? Oh, man, best response ever. <laughs> Greatest infomercial ever, too, I know, But way. if it works as good as it shows, it, it's priceless. It'd be great for trout. Yeah, that's, I agree. I mean, and that, that's what it I, that's looks what like I was, there, It trout. looks like trout to me. I don't know how good it would be on some of the bigger fish, but the uh, little fish would be great. I'm thinking of those rainbow trout that we caught up in uh, yes. Broken Bow. We'll be doing that again. Oh, say no more. I'm ready. Say less, fam. Say Let's less, brother. Let's go. I'm down that for the for the summer. Honestly, I'd like I am to go too. Fish again. I would too. Let's go. Um, just getting just so, there's something about being out on the river, you know, reeling in those the trout and going right back and throwing them on the smoker yeah. immediately. Golly, with your buddies, dude, that's the way to do it. Oh man, there's it's I, fish I to plate as quick fish as you can. Fish to plate, yes. Fre- it doesn't get any more fresh. It doesn't. Uh. Uh-uh. It I doesn't, love and it. it would be even easier. 
with the with Wonder, the Wonder Woman. Bo- with the Wonder Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell did you I say? couldn't even say it. The Wonder Boner. You're, you're like Jimmy Fallon in the back of the <laughs> in the back of the, yeah. I'd give me more up. cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> and you're over there just oh, dying, man. Dude, I don't mean to cut you off, but I gotta say I'm loving the new studio for season for oh, season thanks, four, man. man. This is great. Oh yeah, because this is your first time this in is, here. This is this is my first yeah. uh, episode of season four. So dude. the 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 table. Yeah, does, t- does tell you me right. about it. Yeah, you no, prefer the table? It's, it's got my posture all upright. Yeah, you know? it's. It's it's yeah we got the high top it's like we're just a couple of buddies just sitting dude we're know, at the at a, bar just at BSing. the bar just bsing we're just bullshitting this at is, the bar that's this is all great, it is man dude. Okay. loving it so got a couple more things yeah, for you we, here okay. wanted to go over so uh, a uh, believe it or not okay okay <clears throat> believe it or not <laughs> and this makes me sad to say but there were three churches mm. that got scammed okay um uh. By a guy coming in and convincing them that he is Ed Sheeran. <laughs> How do you scam somebody that you're in? Oh, my man gosh. scammed three Ohio churches after convincing them he is Ed Sheeran. What in the world? He looks nothing like Ed Sheeran. Um, I don't know what goes on there in Ohio. Oh, I don't, fam. What's going on in Ohio? Did, um, I mean, did he have an accent? Do we have? Uh, any kind of like recording from the his performance? I mean, it says here that the uh, Ohio official said on a Facebook post that the man even performed the shape of you wow. in front of a Christ Community Church last Sunday. What do you What do you think their well, their this is re- what the guy looks like? <laughs> what do you think their reaction? <laughs> he, looks, he looks just like him, doesn't he? Yeah, oh man, it's uncanny. Well, I'm wondering what the congregation's reaction was like when he was in mid song. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, are so you it says here, it says, scratching their heads? Um, according to the Port, Portsmouth, Ohio, when the police asked the pastor of one of the churches why he thought Ed Sheeran would be performing at a church mm-hmm. in Pottsmouth in, First. in exchange for $35 in a sandwich. Well, okay. <laughs> Well, the first question is, why would you be performing at a church you know, in Ohio? $35 in a sandwich. $35 in a sandwich? Okay. I mean. He just assumed that Sheeran had fallen on hard times. I guess so. Just trying to do the you know the right thing. <laughs> Give the guy an opportunity. And a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Dude, that's the funniest part. It's not just the way he looks. Let's just assume. Like, yeah. I mean, honestly, the guy looks n- looks not- nothing like him. He but let's just say he's like the doppelganger him. and he looks just like him. He can sing and dance and do the whole charade. I could see it then. Thirty five dollars in a sandwich? That, well, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, with my own eyes, I'm sitting here looking at it. He's nothing like a doppelganger of Ed Sheeran. <laughs> no, bro, this dude looks do like he's think, on meth. Do you, yeah, he does. Do you think they just said, "Yeah, sure," just to see what he would do? Like, yeah, come on, come on, come on up here and perform. <laughs> I can't believe he went as far as performing a song. <laughs> <laughs> you the shape think, of you. You think he he like the stipulations of the deal was like you have to perform and then you get your thirty five dollars in a sandwich. I kind of hope so, but I mean, so this is the way it goes. So this is like the ultimate catfish. Basically, it's the ultimate you have catfish. A, a Facebook page. You message a church. You say, "Hey, I want to come out." They don't talk to you. It is oh like in gosh. person. They just see you online. They're talking to you via text message. Yeah, and then you show up. Oh my goodness! It's the it's the ultimate catfish scam. <laughs> and dude made out with a sandwich. No, no, no. The funniest thing to me, the guys go. Well, I guess you're already here. You might as well go on stage <laughs> and play a song. Yeah, you might as well. You're in. Ninety percent of you know success is showing up. The I mean, dude made it. He showed up. <laughs> he made it. Who knows, man? Wow. Um, he's actually a drug dealer in the UK. So what? So he actually is from UK. From the says, UK. He's wow. A, he's in fact a convicted drug dealer from the United Kingdom. I've got to give it to the guy. I'm telling you. I mean, you jump the pond, you show up in Ohio, and you you perform for a sandwich. I mean, no, no. and thirty five dollars, and thirty five dollars. I don't want to leave that you, you out. That's gas. gas money, bro. Yeah. That's gas money. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Is, that's a tank of gas and a sandwich. I gotta I believe love it. that he said, and you need to feed me. Yeah. Give me a sandwich or something. Man, couldn't man couldn't throw in some chips or something. I love it. I, I got. I believe it. Hundred percent. Uh, yeah. I'm in on this story. I mean, it makes me think this. So, like, have you ever heard of like, gosh, what do they call them? So you're familiar with like what a green room is like, where mm. like the artist will sit before they they go out to perform. Yeah, and you're talking about they put something behind them. No, or? in the green room, what they'll do is they'll ask for I don't know what they call them, like 
they they ask for for a certain things items pre show yeah so okay. some guys will ask for like uh, I need a pen and a notebook and a pen gotcha I want to take notes like comedians or like I want Bud Light in here or something he's like I don't want anything I just I just I just need a sandwich. <laughs> That's it. I mean, he's probably the easiest artist to deal with ever. Yeah, you know, simple guy. That's just beginning. I don't sandwich. Get he didn't. But the the what's also really funny is he didn't do one, but three. Oh my gosh! I mean, the dude was committed. I gotta say, I kind of want to check three in. Three churches, <laughs> three different churches. It just dawned on me. What's up? Three churches. Three different. So it wasn't church. just one. No. I'm amazed that you. He only you went getting... on stage and performed a song at one church. Okay. But he duped the other two to at least hire him. Oh my goodness! What is going on in Ohio? I, I totally missed it. That was I totally buried the lead there. I have no idea. I don't know, man. Do they are, are they not on? Do they not have internet? Or do they not like? Can they not Google? Hey, man. Do a side by side comparison. Like I said, I ultimate know. catfish. Oh yeah, you're right. Ultimate catfish. Ultimate catfish. I feel feel sorry for these folks. So, um, the question is: Is do you believe it or not? Is this real or is this a fake story? I 100 percent believe this. I mean, I'm I'm a little astounded by it, but I <laughs> but I truly believe it. I mean, I'm a, you're only a little, little. a little astounded a little. by it. Oh no! I mean, yeah, I truly believe it, dude. I believe this is real. I'm so astounded. I don't believe this is real. Okay. There's no way that they duped. Th- he duped three. But- I can see getting one. And I can see them going, hey, we already paid you. At least go on stage and fake it, lip sync or something. But who's putting up this fake headline? Like, hey, we just randomly put up this, you know, doppelganger I mean, of Ed Sheeran? I don't know. I mean, if it's on the internet, it's true. That's it's got to be true. not the case at all. <laughs> if that's the case, and there's a lot of hot singles that live in my area. Okay, fair enough. I don't hey, think I've there's a lot duped. of hot singles that live in my area. Yeah. Come on, man. All right, I've been catfished. I don't think the everything you read on the internet's the the, the truth. Fair my point. Man. Fair point. Uh, I'm still going with it though. I'm sticking with it. I'm saying okay. it's absolutely true. Um. So got another thing that we didn't know that we needed. Okay. What okay. do we got? So do you do you are you like one of those guys that has to wake up and drink coffee in the morning? Uh, the machine's on before my feet hit the floor. Oh really? So yes, you've sir. got like it on a I want, timer. I want to wake up with the best part. I want I want the best part of waking up, and I want it to be Folgers in my cup, dude. <laughs> the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. You know what I mean? Like that takes me back. It's it's just an, so it's like it's like uh the. It's like when you when you're on the, when you're at the ball game and you smell all the aroma yes. and stuff. You smell the fresh cut grass. You want that. Similar feeling. I do. When you wake up, you want to smell that that fresh coffee. Yeah, I want the aroma. You, want, you know, I want those the yeah. Colombian, uh, you know, the the roasts. Right, and then it, yeah. then you're like that, like that cartoon that smells it and lifts up in the air and just follows the smell. It gives me wings, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it gives me wings. <laughs> but yes, I'm I'm definitely a coffee drinker in um, the morning first thing. What what about breakfast? Uh, I do not. I do not eat breakfast. You don't. In like on the week weekdays. Okay, I think I know yeah. why. Okay, why? It's because you're missing this cup. Okay. You need this cup, <laughs> this coffee holder. What? That will help you. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, you've got you know hand you know your hand to mouth with the cup. Yeah. And you've got a donut holder. You got on the end of it. Holds your donuts right there, dog. It's amazing. That's what that's what I'm missing. No wonder why you're not eating. No wonder I'm not getting like my my three meals a day. I mean, come on. So like, look at that qu- delicious pastry on the end of that. Hold when it. when you're out on the job site, do you mm-hmm. do you have a tumbler in your hand when you're like, always, talking to guys? I always have a tumbler in my hand. Well, great. Now you can have a tumbler and donuts. <laughs> yeah, donut. I, I've got to have it. I didn't know I needed it, but now I do. I've got to have it. I'm missing breakfast. I'm all. I've always got a drink in my hand. I was gonna you say know? you're walking around with a tumbler and a clipboard, probably. Yeah, tumbler and a clipboard. That's you know, like I mean, B- BSing like, oh, hey, I need a donut. That's literally what you just described my 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 job every day. Yeah, like you know, a tumbler and my clipboard. Yeah, and then what you do? <laughs> you put that clipboard under your arm, and you grab yourself a donut. And oh you man! Keep talking. Oh, I need to make notes. Just sit it down, <laughs> pull it out, make notes. Like, no big deal. It's hands-free, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you're good to go. <laughs> just kind of tuck the clipboard up under the wing real quick, throw the, you know, grab the pastry and just Yeah, go, and you're good man. to go, dog. Golly. 
You didn't know you didn't know you didn't I, know you didn't need it, but you need now this. Now I need this. Yes. I need to see if I can actually look at that. I so in the way it looks is it looks like he may have like homemade it, but I hope he has these for sale. I do too. Dude, it's it's coffee to go on the go. Yeah, it's like wow. Everything. It kind of looks go. delicious, I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks amazing. I mean, are you are you are you a big fan of donuts? I, I am. I can't eat them all the time, but I love donuts. Why, why not? I just, I don't know. I, I, I kind of have to stay away from sweets okay. a lot. Like, I, I'm more of a savory kind of guy. Like, I, you know, I, but um, I love a good sweet, just not every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I've got a problem. Do you? Are you, are you a sweet guy? I like to snack. Yeah. So, anything that's snackable. You're, you're, um, go, you're going for it. Um, <clears throat> hands down. And if it's convenient, you're grabbing yep. it. You so, know. Uh, donuts. So, this one would be dangerous. I love donuts. And I would eat them. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is I don't know when to stop eating them. That's my problem. That's why I don't get them very, very often. Me too. I usually go, hey, let's get enough for the kids and make sure I don't have enough because I will go ham. I will check in with the kids. Because I am a, I'm a, I'm a glutton. Well. Not afraid to admit that that is one of my faults. That's that's the first step. Ladies, accept my gluttonous. Yeah. That's the first step. I'm going to have to accept that. Uh, That's kind of my reason to check in with the kids, though. Like, hey, how we doing? Do we want to go in for donuts this morning? Yeah, Daddy. Uh, Let's go. (laughs) Like, yes. Let's let's go. You know? Um, I guess you could always throw a bagel on there. Oh, you could. A little cream cheese on that bad boy? Yeah, you could cream it up before you sit it on there. Dude. Oh, man. You could. It's multi-purpose. And you could could skewer something. You know, if you needed to kind of just grab a lunch, you throw a hot dog on the end of it. Yep. Dang, it's that's right. Just put a hot dog right there on the end of it. You're good to go. <laughs> then, pull, I mean, you just you just, just keep the bun in your back pocket, and you then can, there you go. You're good to go. You got a full hot dog. Like, you absolutely could. What was the other one? The deep, the the uh, the boner. Yeah, you just you know, th- if you need to, if you're going fishing, just throw the. Oh, you're saying you just you, you, you use that little skewer? You absolutely could. It's got a it's got a built in wonder boner. It's got a built in wonder boner. I didn't it's, even realize. It's dual purpose, dude. You see? Holy cow! Wow, you got your coffee and your boner right there all in one. This has changed my outlook on multiple things. You know, fishing with the boys, grabbing a donut, a fresh pastry in the morning. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Didn't, um, didn't know I needed it, but I do now. I will say, Thanks for that. personally, if I'm getting donuts and coffee, mm-hmm. I like to sit down at a table because I like to dip my donut in my coffee. Are you a dipper? Oh, I'm a You're dipper. You're a donut dipper? I'm a donut dipper. No. Oh, yeah. I've never done that. <laughs> your face bro i think you're missing out your face bro you gotta dip the donut <laughs> i've never dipped the donut in the coffee like, have you ever had like a uh, coffee cake uh yeah i believe, you know I believe it's it. called coffee cake because they dip the coffee you dip the, the cake, cake in the, in the coffee, coffee dog yeah. like do you know why you can get like mrs barrett's makes donut sticks do you know why to dip it because they're the- dunkable you know why it's called Dunkin' Donuts? Because you dunk your donuts. Okay. Your How have you never dunked the point donut? Point taken. Point taken. That's, oh, that's literally Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. How have you never dunked a donut? I don't... I can't recall that I've ever dunked it. I'm usually... So I'm usually like... I'm a milk guy with uh, donuts. So okay. I'm, I'm a donut and a milk. Because um, I've you already... You dunk your donut in milk too? You absolutely could. Come on now. You could. Ooh, Oreo and milk. See, I'm, I'm a big fan I'm of Oreos. Dun- <gasps> no. I go Chips Ahoy all day before Oreos. Oh, really? Specifically the, the chewy ones, which is like, how the hell do you get them chewy? Because like, yeah, how do you got to put chewy? so much shit inside of them. I'm confused. Because you make a cookie in the it's, in the oven. Yeah, it's It'll coming be out. chewy like when it's hot. Yeah, when it first comes out of the oven, then it crisps up. Right. So, so there's got to be all kinds of stuff I shouldn't be having to keep them chewy. But it could be. I just don't think about it and just go. I know. Yum, yum. The yum, yum. <laughs> the chewies are good. But have you not ever like grabbed the Oreo and dunked it in the milk and let it sit? To, till it almost dissolves, but right before it dissolves, you just, it's magic. I think there's something else that you didn't know you didn't need. Yeah, what? You don't have one of these cookie dunkers, do you? No. What is this? Oh, let me show it to you. Let me f- find a good image of one of them. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There are things. You're just showing There's a whole bunch of, of them things. in here, but the ones that I'm thinking of Those is like awesome. a. awesome. It's like this right here. I'm a huge Oreo fan. I like Oreos. Something similar to this right here. Where you put the Oreo right there on the end of your little yeah. dunker, then you dunk it in there, and then you pull it up. Now, some people will actually don't even buy this. We'll do it with a fork. I'll just get a fork, fork and method. just stick it in there. Yeah, I've seen it. And, and there's nothing worse than having like a, a, a cup full of milk with Oreo, like Oreo mush at the bottom of it. No, oh, is that not 
No, I, that's the only reason why you finished the milk. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Otherwise, you're throwing I, a half glass of milk away because well, you don't want to drink it. Or at least I'm drinking down to you know to the to the bottom of it. But yeah, again, it's in moderation because I would literally I would glutton myself with a whole bag of Oreos if if I allowed myself. Yeah, that's why I don't uh, buy cookies because I, I eat a sleeve and a half and then realize oh geez I need to save some of these. Oh, I do too. I need to not do what I tell my kids and drink it all in one day. I'm t- oh, or man. eat it all in one day. I'm telling, cheers, man. T- telling you. Every time I go to the store and I buy a bag of cookies, I look in the the uh, pantry the next day and literally they're gone. Yeah. I'm like, what? Is that from you? Or the it's kids? not from me. It's uh, from the okay. kids. Come on, be honest. Okay, I'm, I've had a, I've had a few of them. It's I mean, like, I only had two sleeves. There was two other sleeves <laughs> that I were eating. Come on now. It's like what gets me is those little Girl Scout cookies, like the um, the what do you call those? Which ones do you the, like? The, co- the coconut. Uh, the Samoas. Samoas. Thing. I was gonna say I, I kept wanting to say uh, Samoan, but I mean. And that's what it is. The Samoas. It's a Samoan cookie. Oh man, that's the one. Yeah, the Samoas are where it's at. Those are the ones. That's what it's we. It's the best Girl Scout cookie that they make ever. That's the ones we get. From, that's what we, they they sell them at the store now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Those are the ones we get, and they have that like so, the chocolate bottom. Yeah. Oh, so good. And I'm not a coconut fan. I'll tell you this: like one Samoas. of the better cookies is uh, pecan sandies. Oh, do you, can you pull those up? You're not familiar I, I, with. I've heard of them, but I want to see. I want to get eyes on it. Let's see. <clears throat> These Keebler pecan sandies. Mm. Hold on. Okay. They're these oh. right here. The shortbread pecan sandies. What are, is that? What those are with the pecan in the middle of them? What people make? No. Um. Oh. I mean, maybe it's a shortbread cookie. This one, like, oh, okay. I get them from Keebler. They do like pecan chunks. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not familiar with uh, shortbread sandies. Oh, this is what mm, like my dad really likes pecans. So anything with yeah, pecans, I, do too. I we, like pecans. We smash them out. So yeah. pecan sandies or something that's really good. Okay. But they're shortbread, so they're like uh, they soak up really quick, but they they're brittle. So like if you dunk it, you got to do a quick dunk and go. That makes sense. Yeah, it's it's like you're you're not a you're not a dunk and soak. It's a no. dunk and go. Dunk and go. There's no soaking to yeah, it. Yeah, there's it's no just dunk and dissolve. soak. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll have to try that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Dunk and go. Dunk and go. Well, thanks for showing me all these things I didn't know I needed. I got you, big dog. All right. So uh, process improvement. Okay. We know. Uh, um. Do you do you snore? I hate to admit it, but yes. Okay. Yep. Um, are you Help do you do you sleep on your back on your side? I'm more, I'm more of like I start off on my back and then kind of I end up on my side. Okay. I, I, I'm a side go to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to I like to sleep on my side. Yeah. I r- rotate from side to side. Same. I'll rotate um, to the cooler side of the much pillow. As I don't want to admit it, the heavier I get, the more I want to sleep on my back. Because mm. like my shoulders start to get sore. Yeah, no, that's fair. I need to lose weight. I'm getting fat. <clears throat> really? But okay, uh, on a different topic. Like, but topic. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. If you're a snorer, I think I have a solution for you. I need help, Joe. Help now, me this out. is going to require another person to be in the bed with you. Okay. Which I'm not mad at. Yeah, I mean, it but, wouldn't hurt my feelings. You know. Here you go. Okay. Let's see what you got. Because there's yeah, a. Yeah, I, I definitely need some help with the whole snoring They issue. explain the reason why men snore. Okay. Welcome. What's the slow burn joke you got for us? So when my husband and I first started going out, um, he was a really bad snorer. Mm. And what he told me was when he lay on his back, his balls would cover his anus and create an airlock. And that's why he <laughs> snores. <laughs> first case study ever. <laughs> 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 his balls cover his anus and call it airlock. <laughs> it's too much. By his toodle. <laughs> what in the world? That's all it takes? <laughs> have a terrible snoring problem legend absolutely she cradled legend. his balls for three years before she found before out before she it realized fake. no way yeah she sounded kind of pissed off about it i cradled his balls for three years Man, i cradled his balls for three years listen i'm willing to take the heat on this but if that's what it that's what cures snoring i you know, you gotta you got you gotta take the heat on it. Like, you gotta do come it. Come on, lady, do you do you wanna sleep or not? Yeah. You need some sleep, just you know, <laughs> grab a cradle, you know, get the cradle and and go. 
We don't it's, have to talk about great it in the morning. That he goes that he convinced his wife. Oh, there's like a there's like an air problem. There's yeah, air. I gotta get the air I'm out vapor, somewhere. I'm air locked. I'm vapor locked. Air, yeah. Damn. <laughs> wow. And she believed and it. And she <laughs> he cradled his balls for three years. This 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 woman. This poor woman. People are getting duped left and right today, man. Yeah, man. What is going on? Are people really that gullible? I guess, man. People are that gullible. I've always, like. I've always said I've, I'm super gullible, but that's next level. <laughs> that's not. I mean, you know, that's, you got crazy with his balls. Wouldn't she have done years. a little research on her own, bef- you know, before the whole three year time frame? I like, mean, it makes me wonder if hmm, like, is the this... first day she cradled and it worked? It be, oh. and he's like, he woke up the next day and he goes, "Oh, did it work? Yes, it worked. Yes, I got her." I got yeah. her hooked in. That's what she's not telling us. It, just, it, just, it worked once. All it has to do is work just once. Just once. One day, he doesn't snore, <laughs> and he's in. My guy was because airlocked. Because then it goes, dude, you're not, you're not holding them right. That's that's you, key. You're still locking it. She somehow. had him. She had him. You got lazy or something, and you, they're still you gotta, together. You, you gotta you gotta hold them high. Yes. Yep. You gotta adjust. I mean, know. she didn't say husband. She didn't say ex husband. They're so. still together. Yep. Yeah, adjust the grip if it's not working. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Dang, that's amazing. Process improvement. Process improvement. How to improve snoring? Yep. Have your wife create your balls. Create your balls. <laughs> don't be vapor locked. Wow. Don't be vapor locked. Can't do it. All right, I got another one here, uh, here for you. you. So this is the great debate. So I just want you to tell me, is this fair or is it not? Okay. Is this, uh, was the man in the wrong or is the man in the right? All right, we can do okay. that. We can take a look. I'll give you my best educated give opinion. Give me your opinion on this and okay. tell me for real. All right. Was <laughs> Again with the snoring. She just slaps him right across the face. What a jerk. Uh... Huh? Who's doing the recording here? <laughs> oh, she- <laughs> yes, totally justified. <laughs> and he just rips one hard underneath. The totally covers. vindicated. Lifts it up and just Dutch oven all day long. You know the Dutch oven is justified. Yes, he's not on the wrong in that at all. That is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's slap in the face, and it, it sounded like wow. a pretty, pretty hard slap. Yeah, it looked like a decent one, solid. Sound like she, she, she should she, sign up for that power slap. Lead. Yes, she should. She straight up molly whop this guy. You Which know? bro, I've been watching. Yeah, it's great. We were talking about it, man. I'm like, it looks brutal. It looks it's absolutely great. brutal. It's great. So, dang, we talked about this a couple weeks ago on Can You Get Behind It, and I okay. hadn't watched it yet. I'm like, let me watch it. Yeah, dude, it's so good. Really. It I is mean, so good. Like, like to the point where it's like comical or it's you're it, no, it bro, kinda brings you serious. in. It just like for some reason I just can't I can't stop watching. It's, it's, it's addicting to watch. Yes. It's like, okay, I wonder who's gonna because take it, the win. It's kinda like it's reality TV and slapping slap fights at the okay. same time. Oh, wow. So basically there's a lot of like drama behind it. They talk about technique. There are rules to it. Okay. So it's, and you can see guys that are know what they're doing versus guys that don't. Yes. And you're like, man, that was weak. Oh, man, that was a good hit. Dude, that dude took it like it was nothing. He yeah. took it like a champ. I will tell you, the only thing I don't like, the the main thing I don't like is the coin toss. Because the coin toss is at the beginning of the – but to determine who, uh, who, goes who, first. who goes first. Okay. And you want to go first. Yeah. Because you – it's very common for the first person. And you get hit once really, and you're, you're out. Getting knocked out. Yeah. Yeah. Now a lot of those guys. I mean, there's a lot of them that'll get hit and they'll and they'll be okay or they'll stumble and it'll like daze them a little bit, but they'll be all right. Yeah. But you don't know if that's gonna happen or if you're just gonna go to sleep. Right. So you want to swing first. Yeah. Makes and sense. I think that is unfair because it's pure luck to see who's gonna swing mm. first. I think there should be like what a are you, what are you some. Though? I mean, I have no mm. idea. What do you what What, what do you think? It's gotta, gotta be either. skill, right? Yeah, I mean, so like a UFC fighter, for example, if he's if he's got a certain amount of wins and you know he comes in with a certain skill level, are you saying they need to be equally? No, what I'm saying is that it's got to be when it comes to who who swings first, who gets the first hit. 
there has to be some sort of skill involved to determine who gets the first hit. Oh yeah, it yeah, can't I be agree. pure luck. I don't know, but it's 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 like anything else. Like in, even in the NFL, you're going off a based off a of coin toss. I mean, That's a lot overtime of, coin toss. Typically, the first guys that get it win. Yeah, I know. So maybe it's just pure luck, but. Watch it; it's great, and that's yeah, what will. it sounds. It sounds just, ju- just like this. I I recorded all of them. Did you really? Yeah, I've watched. I've watched guys do it where they're literally like grabbing onto a table about this size, you know, sitting across. Nope. So isn't that in the one? This one, there's there's rules. Oh, okay. Okay. So the rules are: as a somebody getting slapped, you hold on to like this foam bar, and it but oh, okay. but behind your back, and it basically just holds you stiff. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're not allowed to flinch. You get docked points for flinching. Um what? and you're not allowed to roll with it. You just gotta sit there and take it. It's just one, one slap at a time. Okay. So one slap. How many do they go? As in a, it's there's three rounds. Oh. Okay. So if me and you are fighting, let's say I go first, mm-hmm. I get to slap first. <clears throat> um. Basically, I tell them how many practice swings and when I'm gonna hit. So they'll we'll like for an example, most guys will say three with my right hand, which means I go uh. one, two, and then I slap on three. Okay. Okay. So I'm You're judging the one, distance. One, okay. two, and then slap on three. Okay. Now my feet have to be straight. Okay. I cannot turn my my, my uh, feet. <clears throat> if I turn my feet or pick up my 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 leg, it's a foul on me. Yeah. I get points taken away. Like there were times where like a guy's like spun and like yes. turned his feet and slapped a guy, and the guy went out, but he got disqualified. So the other guy got to advance to, to the so next round. There's so many different variables: your feet, your hips, your shoulders. You know what I mean? And you, you you could do all that with the hips and the shoulders. You, can? you just can't move your feet. Your feet have oh, to your, stay straight. They stay planted. Okay, yep. straight. Okay. You, you you can't be on the toes. You have to have flat feet down. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this one. I've only seen the, I've I've seen where they're standing across from each other and they 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 put like mouth guards in. Yep. And they're just, you know, basically holding onto a table and then the other guys just That wham. might be the stuff in Russia. Could be. Yeah, I mean Dana White the president of the UFC created Tell Power me. Slap. Are you serious? And it's He's great. the one that did it? It's great. I haven't seen it. Okay. It's a new league that they're doing here in the States that Dana's all behind. Oh, okay. Same idea, but yeah, there's rules to it now. Okay. So it, uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, well, what, we need to catch one. We need to, we need to check one out, dude. It's for fun. Sure. Okay. But all right. anyway, so she, so he totally justified. Oh, he did. Her. Yes. Oh my gosh. The Dutch oven totally justified. You get some slap cut- the face D- Dutch oven all <laughs> yes, day. I know we went put way. her in the oven. Yeah. Put her in the oven, put her in a body bag. <laughs> uh, mm. so, okay. <clears throat> couple more things. So, all right. Wanted to do another great, great debate. All right. Um, on some of my favorite comedic actors. So who did it best? Jim Carrey or Adam Sandler? I love Adam Sandler, but I'm going Jim Carrey. Okay. That's that's my first instinct. I wanna I wanna see what you're coming in with. So why is that your first instinct? Mm. What comes to mind when you think Jim Carrey? I mean, uh, you know, Pet Detective. I'm thinking Mass. I mean, you think in all. You're thinking different now. Both the both. Both comedians have played uh, drama roles. They played com- comedic roles. Um, I think Jim Carrey. Oh, um, yeah, Dumb and Dumber. There's so many different roles that Jim Carrey's done, and you're probably thinking about you know some other ones. Um, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I love Adam Sandler, but I think, man, I, th- I think Jim Carrey's got him on just overall acting capabilities, ability. Okay. You know, being able to play dual roles. I mean, Jim did a lot of good stuff. He did. Because you are right. He did Ace Ventura. Yeah, Ace Ventura. Dumb and Dumber. Mm-hmm. He did The Cable Guy. The Cable oh, Guy was fun. Liar, Liar. Liar, Liar was really was really well, well written. Yeah. Me, me Myself, me, and Irene. Me, Myself, and Irene is probably the funniest movie I have ever seen in my life. People are going to disagree with me, okay. and that is okay. okay. He should have won an Academy Award. He should have for that role. Yes, he should. Because he played two characters. He did. <laughs> he did. He played he did. two different characters in the same movie. And yes, the he thing did. is, is that it wasn't one scene. He's this guy. The next scene, he's this guy. Yes, that happened a lot. But yeah. there were certain scenes where he went he, back and forth in the in moment, the middle of the scene. in the middle of the scene. Yeah. How many guys do? 
do I've that. I've never seen anybody else do that. Yeah. He should have won. He should have won something for yeah. that. It was probably the best movie that I've ever seen. It's it's one of my favorites by from from him. Yep. For 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 sure. Um he did a lot of fun stuff. Fun with Dick and Jane was okay. Yeah. Um Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind was great. Oh, I don't think I, I saw that. I don't think one. it was great because of him. I think it was great just because the storyline was amazing. Okay. Um not saying that he did a bad job. He did a phenomenal job. Yeah. But I think that they could have gotten another actor and I think I would have enjoyed it just as much. What I like about Jim Carrey is he's silly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. So, <clears throat> from when he did Me, Myself, and Irene mm-hmm. in the year 2000, yeah. he didn't play what I would say a really silly role until Yes Man in 2008. Mm. Did you did you like see a, Yes Man? I actually did not watch that all the way through, um, but I see what, I, I can see where you're going with that. He Kind of like childlike silliness. Yes. Childlike. Yeah. I, I, I know of the movie. Um, and it, watch it, it, dude. It's fun. It's great. I will. I'll, I'll watch it. It's got it. him and Zoe Deschanel. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, not to say that Adam Sandler did. No, I love Adam he Sandler. He did a lot of good stuff. Yeah. He's done, a, he's done amazing things. He has I done some terrible stuff it. though. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say some of the stuff, some of the, you know, the not so hot picks that he's done kind of outweighs Jim Carrey's, you know. Not amazing things he's done, but like I said, um, my my one of my favorite movies of all time is Billy Madison. I love it, love Billy Madison. Billy Madison's great. Ha- Happy, Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Yeah. What what year? Ninety six. Absolutely. I mean, I grew up on the on on the on the, the Water Boy. Water Boy. <laughs> yeah, Water Boy and Big Daddy. Oh, Big Daddy. That's a good one. Both yep. of those are phenomenal. Very. I even liked Little Nicky. Yeah. I I, I yeah. I can get behind that. Uh, Mr. Deeds was all right. I it didn't think okay. it was phenomenal. One Anger thing, management was dumb, but people liked it. Uh, yeah, I, I was I was on the fence on that one. Uh, Fifty First Dates, I really liked. It's good. What do you think about Spanglish? Not it's probably not, not a, very good. Yeah, I didn't either. It not was, very it was, good it was, in my opinion. I couldn't I couldn't figure out what was going on here. What are we doing? Fifty First Dates was was way better. I way agree. better. I agree. Yeah. Yep, the longest yard I enjoyed because it had had some action behind it. Mm-hmm. Um, Click was fun. Click was good. I liked it. Had a good had a good storyline. Click was not bad. Mm-hmm. Um, some of these others I haven't seen though. Have you <clears throat> seen gr- Grown Ups? I love Grown Ups one and two. I've never seen it. You ever seen Bedtime Stories? Awesome. Uh, it's really good. I don't know if I have or not. I may have. Just go with it. Him, I, I must say him and Jennifer Aniston. Comedy duo, really? See, Co- these are ones I've I've duo. never seen. They're they're heavy hitters, yeah. So like, you got to check out. Just go with it. It's okay. hilarious. It's funny. So like from 2010 on, I don't think I've seen him in a movie. Wow. Oh, that's a lie. I've seen him in Herbie Hancock or Herbie. Um, what is it? It's a uh, it's a Halloween movie. Oh, Herbie uh, Hubert. Hubert Halloween. Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween. Yeah, yeah. I, I just recently watched uh, where he played that coach, the NBA. Oh, in, in Hustle? Hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I did enjoy Hustle. That. that was good. Yeah. I liked it. I did that enjoy, one was really enjoy that. Good. Did, did you see Un- Uncut Gems? I, I didn't. I was going to, but I didn't watch it. Is I it, haven't finished it. I Yeah. I fell asleep in the middle of it, and it didn't make me want to finish it, so yeah. I never did. Part of me wanted to start it, but I was just like, ah, I don't know. I, I've heard nothing but good things about it, but I haven't. Like I said, I haven't finished it, so I'll I couldn't like tell you. Some like diamond dealer, some jewel, yeah. jewel dealer, and it just seemed kind of. I mean, it was really it. slow. When whenever I was watching, it, I'm like, "This that's is slow. Where is like. it? Where does it get good?" Where, and maybe it, yeah. it finishes phenomenal, and that's where it's awesome. But but if it's gonna have me dragging the entire shit, like the entire movie, eh. I, I mean, know. that's one of the things, man. Like I've got to, you got to hit hard from the beginning and keep it going. Otherwise, I lose, I lose interest. We talk about that on stand up comedy. We talk about that a lot on stand-up comedy. Uh, we talk about typically they save the, their best for last, but I feel like they need to come in and hit hard early. So I have he- heard this. Um, some I forget who it was was talking about this a couple of years ago, where they used to do that. They used to have a really hard closer, uh, and then they got mm-hmm. like stats back from like Netflix or whatever mm-hmm. that said like um, people are watching the first fifteen minutes of your special and then turning it off. So like the average watcher doesn't watch the full hour to hear mm. that awesome that, joke. Yeah. So some guys have been putting it into the first like ten minutes of their act to try to keep people wanting more and 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 
keep watching it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't. I don't either. I mean, you've got not just a grand finale, but you've kind of got a grand, you know, segue or beginning right into the rest of your show. I think it's a, it could be a good thing. Some of these movies, though, yeah, if they're gonna drag on and on and on, I'm probably not gonna finish it. Right. So like, there's a whole bunch of these that I've never seen. Like so, the Cobbler, Pixels, Ridiculous Six, The Do Over, Sandy Wexler. I've never seen those these either. These are all movies that he did. A, he's doing on Netflix, and I'm like, um, I haven't seen it. The week of, I actually have seen that. I've, I haven't seen it. The week of, it's him and Chris oh, wait, Rock. Him and Chris, I did see that actually on Netflix. They're like, they're both dads. Yeah, they're, and they're ki- their kids are getting married. Yeah. yeah. So who do you think does it better? I will say that Adam Sandler is way more active. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I gotta say that because of some of the not so good movies he's done. Yeah, it's, it kind of outweighs. It's kind of bringing him down. It does. It's kind of bringing him down. That's what I. That's how I felt. Like I love his early, his stuff early on. You know. Yeah, that stuff early when he was silly is fun. Yeah, it's really fun. So we go back to him kind of being silly. Now just go with it. He's he's silly. Um, but yeah, yeah, both of their stuff, him and Jim Carrey, both early on when they were silly. Like, I love the mask. Mr. Popper's Penguins was, was funny. It's a yeah. kid's film. Um, I'm trying to see if I've seen any of these other ones. I haven't mm. seen any of these other movies. Like, did you, did you see Sonic the Hedgehog? He plays the bad guy in it. I, I didn't watch it. I actually wanted to see that one. I heard, I heard he does a decent job. Yeah. I, I heard, heard he did good. good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I think I'm going to say, Jim. I'm going to have to say Jim on Jimmy this one. Jimmy on this one. Yeah, Jimmy. King Jimmy. All right, man. We're going to do one more thing. All right, what do you got? Um, I got a new game. Okay. Um, That we're going to play. It's called Hot Takes. Uh, ooh. All right. Hot I like takes. games. So, oh, man. Draw a card. I have a feeling I know where this is going. And then you're either going to agree or disagree with this hot take. Okay. So I'm going to grab the, the, we'll the both one on top. Dr- draw one. Okay. Huh. Okay. So, my, so this card reads, QR code. QR code menus are better than physical ones. Agree or disagree? Uh, and I'm going to tell you where I line up on the fence with this one. Mm-hmm. And you'll probably, I would say you would, you'll agree with it. I'm going to say they are not better than physical menus because I'm more of a tangible old school guy. I want to flip the pages. I don't want to, if I want, if I'm at a restaurant, I'm really not looking to, 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 to scroll my phone and just kind of, do the thing, do all the things and stuff on the telephone. I want to f- kind of flip out the shoulders with, you know, like I'm reading a newspaper. Okay. Um, and look super interesting and kind of intellectual. I like the option of okay. having a digital menu. Okay. Um, the reason is because if the place is packed, mm. and especially if I'm going into a place where it's like I'm going to go to the bar area and I'm going to sit at, a, I'm going to seat myself. Um, I want to be able to look at the menu right away. I don't want somebody to – I don't want to have to wait 10, 10 minutes for a server to finally get to me because they're busy. Not that I'm mad. Like, you're you're busy. You're out there hustling, dude. Like, right. as long as you're busy, I'm not going to be upset with you taking taking a long time. Mm-hmm. But if that happens, I want to be able to look at a menu. Let me ask you this. So you come and I go, yeah, here's my drink order. You know what? We're actually ready to go ahead and order our food as well. Hmm. Go ahead and order it right then and there. What if <clears throat> you scan the QR code, you're, you're scrolling the menu, you're looking at your phone, and you're like, okay, I, I know what I want. Boom! You click the item, send it to the kitchen. Then the 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 server brings it out to you. Already plated up and everything. Um. What are your thoughts there? It's I'm too really much. Torn. <clears throat> yeah. Because I kind of like the idea, but I kind of also like the human interaction. I, that's me. I don't want to take away from that human interaction. Yeah. You know what I mean, I feel like I'm taking a job away from somebody. <clears throat> that's not cool. I agree. I mean, um, but I like the idea of being able to look at a menu before they get there, and then if they do get there qu- quickly, I like a physical menu. Like, don't get me wrong, I prefer yeah. a physical menu. Yeah, I just like the option of having the digital one in case it's extremely busy. I'm seeing a lot of the, the in case I have a bad wait a waitress. If I have a bad waitress, then oh, yeah. I've got a digital menu here where I can look stuff up. True, I, I'm. I think I'm seeing a lot of the traditional menus come back. Um, oh, for sure, I, I really am, which is great. Because I know, like when we were, you know, peak COVID, yeah, everything, everything was digital. Everything was QR That's code. That's all you could get. Yeah. That's all you could get. So, I appreciate the tr- traditional, you know, traditions coming back. Yeah. You know, like you said, face. Give me some face to face. For sure. Give me the the bulky fold out menu <laughs> that I can scan every item that I'll never order because <laughs> I, I order the same thing everywhere I go. Oh, are you one of those guys? What is I'm it? I'm one of those guys. Well, it depends on where I'm at. 
right? Oh, so you're saying specific yeah. restaurant. I already know what I'm going to order uh, yeah. at this restaurant. Yep. Okay, so it's not like anywhere I go, I'm getting chicken tenders. No, no. I, no, I, I do know people that that's all they order is chicken tenders. But So do I. Yeah, depending depending on what establishment, what restaurant I'm at, I pretty much know what I want. Okay. You know, so, yeah, bring give me traditional all day long. Give me the old school records. Give me the, you know, the the th- the fold out menu. Okay. So what do you got? So, uh, well, let's see. Let's okay. see what the next one is here. All right. <clears throat> Um, I don't like this one. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like I've done this one before. Okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, middle seat should get both armrests. Oh, 100%. You're in the middle seat. Yes. You get both armrests. Absolutely. Because if you're on your window, you can you can lean to the window. If you're aisle, you can lean towards the aisle. If you're in the middle, you're stuck. Your posture straight up. You need both armrests. Like you're in the worst position. You're in the to begin worst with. possible position to begin with. So I feel like have a little, you know, show a little grace. Give the guy in the middle the armrest. Okay. Um, I don't what fly do do? very often, but every time I've flown, I'm always like, I'm always back at the armrest guy. Meaning, I throw my arm, my I put my little tiny elbow on the back yeah. of the armrest and yeah. give you like seventy percent of it to the guy. In the, to whoever oh, okay. else is there. You got the wing. Yeah, so you got I'm the just wing just little, hanging out. Yeah, I'm just getting a tiny bit. Okay. I'm getting a tiny bit of it and I'm chilling. Yeah. Do you know what I do? What's I'll, that? I'll split. I'll, I'll get I'll give I'll give one to my right the armrest and I'll take the one on the left. Okay. Or vice versa. If I see that he's you know, this person's not paying attention, I'm just kind of sliding over. I'm yeah. kind of I'm taking over. Right. You but know? you think that there should be like a airplane etiquette. Th- there's definitely and it gotta should be. be they get first dibs. Mm, the, the, the middle seat. The middle seat gets first dibs on the on the armrests. I would agree with that. Yeah, okay. there's got to be airplane etiquette. D- dibs on the middle, you know, middle middle seat. And I feel like we really need to kind of share this bullet p- data point with the current like the uh, you know f- e- flying etiquette because I'm seeing a lot of just a lot of people being really irritated lately on their flights. Okay, I don't know why. I mean, grab a grab a drink and just share the armrest. Maybe you're, it's you're, the middle guy that's getting upset because they're not getting on rest. Could be the middle guy that's just getting pissed off, and he's like, he needs to, you know, send the, send those data points over to the to the airline. Okay, so question here. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. What do you got? I'm gonna play. Uh, just ask you a couple of weird questions. So oh, shoot, um, I'm a big dude. Okay. Bigger, bigger guy. All right. I sit in the aisle in the aisle seat so mm-hmm. I can lift up my armrest and mm. hang out into the aisle because I know I'm a bigger guy. I don't want to squ- squish the guy in the middle. Mm. If I'm that bigger guy, do I get the one, get the only armrest at that point that's available for me? Well, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, you're you're hanging out in the aisle because you've got that le- the, the left. I'm assuming, or you know, the left or right, you've got that one armrest flipped up. Yeah. So what what was your question? You, do I get you the get the other one armrest and only? at this point? Because I'm don't get to use the other one because I'm too big. To, I'm saying yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm saying yeah because I mean you're already kind of see. I still at say a disadvantage. I still say. The middle, middle guy gets dibs. If okay. he wants to be nice enough to give it to you, he can. But if he says no, you can't get mad at him. So it's at, it's at his discretion. That's what I say. But he gets dibs. Yeah. The middle middle seat. He gets okay. fir- first choice. I would agree with that. Like if you're a big dude, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Sucks that you have to lean over into the into the aisle. But you don't deviate from the middle aisle rule, middle right. seat rule. I like it. That's Th- what there's I say. Guarant- it's it's it keeps you know there's there's guardrails yeah. around the middle seat. Middle guy gets stuck with the worst seat. Yeah, I agree. That's so worse. That's, give him at least two armrests. That's worse than hanging out into the aisle. Yeah. Yeah, give him at least two. Yeah. Let him choose. So uh, com- community did community. a phenomenal job. Y'all did great, guys, for sure. Medical grade haze. If you see it, Check go it out. pick it up. Yep. Um, it's prescribed. <laughs> it's pres- and there's you know prescribed by Brewmaster Fulton. Yes. <clears throat> I'm telling so you. Go get your prescription of medical grade haze. Yes, sir. Uh, but beware. Because seven point seven percent. Oh man, um, that's the reason why I've been drinking a little slower than I normally would have. Because this is phenomenal. It is so. This good. is like fruit juice, all day. All day. That's an all day IPA right there. That is delicious. Yeah, you, these guys did these. These guys killed it. So community, shout out to uh, you guys. Make sure to follow us online at Instagram yep. and Untapped at underscore dudes and maroos. But we're out of yes, here. Sir, peace. <laughs> We appreciate you guys tuning in for another episode of Dudes and Brews. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever platform you're on. We're on there. We have a YouTube channel, Dudes and Brews. We would love if you would subscribe there as well. If you are subscribed and you want to help us out just a little more, unsubscribe and resubscribe again. 
it sounds funny and stupid and kind of obnoxious all of the subscribing and resubscribing and stuff but it helps with in these little algorithms games to for like climbing the charts because again we are organic and we are where we are because of you guys yeah we really do appreciate your support shout us out we really do love it when you guys interact with us when you add us mention us put us on your stories tag us all that fun stuff all the stuff the kids are doing we like grabbing that stuff and we put it up for you guys so we love appreciate you so much keep having fun drinking them brews hanging with them dudes tune in next week for another episode of dudes and brews